So I've just finished my live stream there and I wanted to talk about Camp NaNoWriMo which is next month and I'm going to be doing, I'm plotting out and outlining a urban fantasy. This was one I actually did in camp last year, I think it was last year, and although I enjoyed it and I liked the manuscript, it just wasn't the way I wanted to go for that particular character and story. And I think it was because I kind of winged it a little bit, I was just pantsing it, and I don't necessarily like doing that. Um, I do like to have some kind of foundation that lets me build on. And uh, so this time I'm going to be uh, plot plotting it out. Now the new website, well it's not the new, it's the old Camp NaNoWriMo website is gone. It's now just um, on the NaNoWriMo website. And where they used to be able to put in, you know, you were outlining, drafting, editing, hours worked, pages done, that sort of thing. Now it's just word count. It is something they're going to be fixing and uh, yeah but at the moment all you can do is they've got a little table and it says if you do like an hour's work that's like a thousand words or a hundred words whatever it is. Uh, so you have to kind of work out it that way. So I put in 15,000 words for my outline. But I might change it, uh, so I'll probably work out how long, how much work I think I want to do and uh, do it that way. But what I've got just now is this notebook again that I keep using for different things. But I've got in it all my like worksheets and things like that just for you know, all the things that I've got in there. I'll do a tabletop one so you can see what I'm actually doing with that. Uh, so I'll do that just now. So this is the notebook I'm using for camp. It's had many different things in it, but I think I'm going to start using these kind of notebooks as plotting notebooks. So anyway, when I open it up, I try and keep it in frame. I had to put a cover on the table because it's quite white, the table, and it was just so bright with the paper as well, and it just would not focus properly. Anyway, so I've got my Urban fa Project Worksheet. These were an A5 size in my planner, but I changed them to A4 to fit into this. And also, they just come out like that, and then you just slip them back in. I have the punch for them, so... I can make as many sheets as I want and just fill it. So, sorry, I've tried filling with the exposure a bit just so you can see this a bit clearer. So these, I mean, you've seen these sheets before and I've taken them from various sources online and then just kind of streamlined it into something suitable for me. So this is the city worksheet because it's an urban fantasy. It has that. Um, I have... For the urban fantasy, it didn't have as much as, like, for the fantasy worksheet that I had. This is a magic worksheet and the creature worksheet. Now, what I've done is I've added in more magic worksheets because I have different supernatural creatures in it, because it's an urban fantasy. So there'll be different magic systems that I have to come up with yet. Uh, so this is... Um, and more creature, sorry I got distracted just checking that. and then more creature worksheets because there'll be more of those as well uh, so that's those ones and then we go into this one and this is just the character worksheets and I've got I think yeah I've got about half a dozen I think there is only one main you know, we'll be following the point of views from one specific person, but there will be other uh, characters, main characters, obviously. And then I have a villain character sheet. Uh, most of the questions and or the things in this came from, I think it was 
evadeverill.com. She has lots and lots of different worksheets for writers. So I kind of took bits and pieces from uh, the villain sheets that she had. She had about two or three different ones. Just amalgamate them into this one. And this is what I'll be using for my villain. Just to make sure that it is, you know, it's not a cardboard cutout. Hopefully, anyway. So, yeah, just to treat um, the villain as an actual character and not just a plot device. So that's the reasoning behind that one. So you can see I've got all my worksheets sorted so I can just work through them uh, and work out those kind of details and then I'll get into the actual plotting of the story. I'll probably vlog maybe once a week through Camp Nana. I'll try to anyway. I say this and I don't always succeed. But I'll try to. And, um, yeah, I'll try to do it once a week. Maybe show, or maybe just how I'm filling out these worksheets. Um, yeah, I'll think about it. I sometimes feel a bit bad doing it because they're not worksheets I've made up. I've taken them from different sources on the internet. Maybe I should link. Or maybe I'll think about it. But anyway, let me know what you guys are going to be doing. Are you drafting, plotting, editing? What are you doing for Camp NaNoWriMo? What's your project? What it's about? Let me know in the comments down below. Please hit the thumbs up, hit the notification bell, and I will speak to you soon. Okay? Bye.